All right, so let's talk about the new order feature on Femex. And what we're referring to is the bracket order type. Now, if you're familiar with placing any order on Femex, you know already that when you're using either a limit order or a market order, that once you go to buy or sell, you're prompted with this box right here. And this is gonna show you your trade details, all of the important things that you should know before you place a trade. And it's also going to allow you to place a take profit and a stop loss in advance. And again, this removes some of the hassle and the friction in the trading process that typically on other exchanges you would have to do after the fact. Now, the bracket order is very similar to that, at least the first part of it is. So what a bracket order is, when we go ahead and select this, is we are gonna be placing a take profit and a stop loss in advance again. And we're gonna be choosing our take profit and our stop loss based on tick size. Now the standard tick setting on Femex is 50 cents per tick. So in this example, what we're gonna do is we're gonna place a long order that is seeking $10 profit, so 20 ticks, with a stop loss of $5. So this is gonna be 10 ticks. And this is essentially setting up a two to one trade from the outset. We're gonna choose our stop loss type. So this is gonna be a market order so that we guarantee execution. And now we have our bracket order set up. So again, this bracket order on its own, if executed, would take profit at $10 from the current price we executed or stop out at $5 from the current price. So based on ticks, that would be 20 and 10. So now we have a bracket order set up. And if we were just placing one order, we could use this similar to how we would use that original template where we placed our take profit and our stop loss in advance. Now, the benefit of using a bracket order is not necessarily just that, not necessarily just setting up our trade in advance with a take profit and a stop loss, which is a very smart thing to do, to have all these things accomplished beforehand. The benefit of a bracket order is that it allows us to act like a market maker, and again, to take advantage of that maker rebate that we've talked about in previous videos. So what we can do is we can actually place multiple bracket orders in opposing positions. So this is important. And I will say that one of the things that you should do if you're using bracket orders to market make is to use it on a sub account, just so that it doesn't conflict with any of your other positions or your other strategies. So that's one of the benefits of using a bracket order. You could essentially use this to market make and it's easy if you do this on a sub account, just because again, it won't mix with any of your other strategies. It won't cause any confusion. So when we're using this to collect and make a rebate, we would first want to identify that the situation or the environment was one that maybe was ranging or chopping or stuck in a confined area. So in this example, we're gonna use this small range right here as a potential range to market make within. And let's say that we expect that price is gonna be moving between 10,388 and 10,481. So we're gonna go ahead and place buy orders below this right now. So we're gonna remove this so it doesn't show it again. And now automatically, it's gonna be placing these bracket orders. So we're gonna move one down a little bit, place it again, move it down a little bit more, and now we have three bracket orders that are placed to buy. And these are gonna be triggered as limit orders. And if we go to our act active order history, you can see that the bracket orders are listed here. They're listed with their order price and they're listed with their take profit and stop loss trigger. And again, it's gonna show you whether you have that stop loss as a market stop loss or a limit stop loss. And now we're gonna go ahead and place the orders in the opposite direction. So again, we expect that price is going to range. So let's say, and at this time it just hit, so we're gonna see if it actually executes our stop or our take profit. Let's go ahead and sell some as well. So we're gonna sell them up the ladder. And again, what we're doing is providing resting liquidity. And we are helping the exchange and helping anyone who is aggressively taking order flow by providing the other side. And in doing this, we're acting as a market maker and if doing this successfully, we're gonna be not only making profit off of these trades individually, but we're gonna be collecting that maker rebate. So the 2.5 basis points that you receive for providing the exchange with liquidity. Now we could continue to, to add these up the ladder. So we could add these even higher, or we could just add them at the same price. So now you'll see that we've gone ahead and added one further up. 
We're gonna go ahead and add one further down. So right around 10,400. And now we have multiple bracket orders. And what you can do is you can first identify the range you're looking to work within to make sure that it fits based on your take profit and your stop loss. But as you can see, this is a very good way to not only set up your trade properly from the outset with a take profit and a stop loss, but to also act as a market maker to be able to take advantage of that 2.5 basis point maker rebate.